Unfortunately, um, the most deaths come from the People's Republic of China, and within that, most of them during the regime of Mao Zedong. People have been killed by communism in a variety of ways, direct, you know, execution, um, being, being starved to death and worked to death in, whether it was the Gulag or the Laogai in China or other camps that are in communist countries. Some have been killed that way. Some have been killed by um, state-made famine, um, and that's something that happened in both the People's Republic of China as well as in the Soviet Union. They're both um, willing to and want to control, you know, this whole notion of totalitarian control. And even if they are willing to be flexible on some things, they want to, to be total political. Even economic control, obviously there are some, you know, market measures, but they're still under state control in China. Um, and then I'd say that the personality cult is similar um, for them. Uh, they're not the only two communist leaders that have personality cults. Xi Jinping's really been trying to develop that again, you know, since Mao, try to be the, the leader. I would say that the, um, the human rights violations, the repression, especially since now people know more, you know, there's, even though China has done its best to, to keep the Chinese people from knowing everything and to keep people from outside of China knowing, you know, much, uh, we know more. This is the upside of technology right now. We do know more about what's going on in China than ever before. Um, and we can see the horrible repression um, and, and to know that what's being done to um, uh, the people in Xinjiang is really only the tip of the iceberg.